Hello everybody, welcome to this tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit about a get function, um, or the get function I should say, without using a form or a self acting page. Now if you look up top here, um, I'm using Firefox for so you can see the address bar if I don't put a title on the page, which I didn't, but you see um, the name is actually function.php, but you can see question mark func equals Mikey, and then we have some code here. So it's really easy. Um, I've already blanked out our code here, so let's go ahead and um, start with our PHP. And I'm just showing you this. Uh, you can use this on a real page or whatever you want. It's really versatile and it's seriously easy to customize. Um, I will leave the link to this in the video description and I will leave a link to the source code in the video description. I will keep a live um, demo of this up so you can see exactly what it does. Alright, so first thing we need to do is get our func word into a variable. So we're going to get the, the um, name which is essentially what a form would do if you had the form tag form name equals blah blah blah, blah action equals function .php, method equals get uh, and then we had in, well, we had let's just say function and then we had input type equals text name equals phone. so a little bit like that and it would just basically take the um, this would have to be on a separate file, but of course you could do it as a self-acting form, but I don't suggest that. Um, it would base, this would basically take whatever is put into here. So like if this said hi, then it would take the word hi, and it would display it into this variable. Alright, so basically once you do that, since the name of the input field was func. That's what's going to show up after the question mark. And that's what the get variable does. It takes all the data and displays it into the web browser's URL bar. And uh, now we're going to set a name variable, which I'm just going to set to Mikey for now. And then we're going to set a blank variable, and you'll see why in a second. So we're going to start an if statement and say if the func equals name, then um, echo hello name and basically what that'll do is it's basically saying if this equals the word Mikey then display whatever code you want and now we're going to make another if statement for if it doesn't so that's for the blank um, variable comes in if func equals blank echo there's nothing to display or the URL does not exist and that's exactly the same thing as saying if func does not equal name now that's only if you have one variable. Um, if you have more than one, uh, then you would use this one down here. But if you're only using this one here, then you can use that. No, I'm sorry. You can use the if func does not equal name. But I'm not going to bother with it because it, they're both the same thing. So uh, you can use whichever one you want. And that's basically it. So um, I'm actually going to go ahead and, and add another variable in here and say um, last. And then we're just going to say um, who for last name. And then we're going to say 
if func equals last echo hello and we'll put two exclamation marks here so you know it works and we'll just say last alright so that should work so let's go ahead and see if it works alright so we have hello Mikey and this is set to Mikey now if we set that to nothing it says there's something to display where the URL does not exist now if we set this to If we set that to who, which was our last name, it'll say hello who, and there's the two exclamation marks which put into here to prove that it works. So yeah, that's basically it. Thank you very much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe if you like my videos, and I will see you next time. If for some reason you do not understand this, please either comment or PM me, and I'll, if I cannot explain it in a text comment, I will make a video response to it. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.